What do Perplexity, Replit, and Abridge have in common? They're all AI rapper startups, once mocked as second-rate middlemen. Now valued at $18 billion, and they're changing the game with something called Vibe Coding, where you don't need a CS degree, just an idea and AI to build it overnight. This is the new era of AI, fast, cheap, and shockingly disruptive. But how did these rappers blindside giants like OpenAI and Google? And why is Silicon Valley obsessed with Vibe Coding? Stick around, this is the story of how the underdogs flipped the script. Meet Manus, a Chinese AI agent hailed as China's next deep seek moment. It went viral for automating complex tasks. A viral demo showing Manus planning, travel, and creating whole websites, all with simple prompts. But here's the twist Manus is built almost entirely on another company's model. It's built on Claude and Alibaba's Quen. No original model, no billions in funding, just a slick interface on someone else's tech. According to Manus AI, Manus was hailed as the AI agent we were promised more effective than OpenAI's deep research, racking up a waitlist of 2 million users in just 7 days. So what changed? Two words, bundling and unbundling. These apps curate the best models, OpenAI, Claude DeepSeek, into one seamless experience. Think of it like Netflix for AI. Why subscribe to 10 studios when one app gives you everything? And it's just the latest in the rise of AI apps, once disparagingly known as AI rappers. An AI rapper describes a company whose entire app or business is wrapped around one or several existing, already built models. More money than ever is being poured into AI apps. Investors are betting big. Perplexity, a search wrapper, is worth 3x OpenAI's multiple. Why? Because apps monetize faster, unlike a model made by OpenAI or Anthropic, which specializes in writing or coding. Rappers, they aren't confined to a single function. They offer access to a curated bundle of top-tier models. Plus, they usually provide a smoother user experience and tailored functionalities. Many are now going a step further, building up their own proprietary data, fine-tuning models for specific use cases, and even developing capabilities that differentiate them from off-the-shelf models. That's why some tech investors are starting to label them as AI apps rather than just rappers. Enter Vibe Coding where you don't need 100 engineers, just 10 Vibe coders with AI tools. These devs use apps like Cursor to write entire apps in days. No PhD required. You don't need years of technical expertise. Just an idea and an AI first app to guide you like Cursor, Replit, or Devon. Cursor's parent company, AnySphere, has become one of the fastest-growing startups ever, hitting more than $100 million in annual recurring revenue in just 12 months. Consider perplexity an AI-powered search engine that lets users pick from a menu of different AI models. It was among the early breakout apps to catch on after ChatGPT exploded in late 2022. Right from the home page, you can either select the model you want or let the platform pick the best one for your question. This flexible approach is a big part of why investors are valuing it so highly, even more than some model creators like Anthropic and OpenAI. Another app specializing in legal analysis but drawing on OpenAI tech is Harvey AI. It quadrupled its revenue in 2024, landing a $300 million round at a $3 billion valuation in February this year. Abridge CEO said in an interview with CNBC, My eight-year-old son's built a website after 100 days of Python on Replit. Time machines are broken. But here's the catch. Vibe coding isn't about replacing experts. It's about prototyping at warp speed. Want a healthcare app? A legal bot? AI lets you test ideas before hiring a single engineer. The result? Startups like Cursor are becoming decacorns overnight, while big tech struggles to pivot. The latest wave of AI apps is stepping into an intensely competitive arena. Tech giants have already funneled billions into the initial phase of the AI race, concentrating on building infrastructure and developing foundational models. Microsoft invested $13 billion in OpenAI. Google built its own AI chips and models. Amazon signed deals tied to nuclear energy. Meta snapped up thousands of high-performance GPUs. Their spending skyrocketed. But as Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella noted, he believes these models are becoming commodities. Meanwhile, giants like Google face an innovator's dilemma. Their AI podcast tool notebook, LM, went viral, then got buried in bureaucracy. On the flip side, there's Perplexity, a startup unencumbered by legacy business. It's shipped features like an election hub, a finance dashboard in months. It's even coming for Google's Chrome with a browser of its own. That's why apps are winning. While model builders focused on delivering raw capability and intelligence, the app companies looked at real-world uses and solutions, like Abridge for doctors or Harvey for lawyers, while OpenAI tries to be everything. And as models get cheaper, thanks DeepSeek, startups can build their own. 
So will vibe coding kill traditional devs? No, but it's democratizing innovation. The next Zuckerberg might be a 15-year-old with replit and a dream. What's your take? Are rappers the future or just hype? Drop a comment and hit like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.